The first thing that I need to do is prepare my painting surface. This is Arches watercolor paper. But I first want to prepare the surface of that paper with, right here, a big tub of gesso. I also use a foam brush and a container so that I can add a little bit of water and gesso to thin out the gesso. When I add my acrylic paint later on onto the surface, I don't want the paint to soak into the watercolor paper so much. And the gesso will not allow that paint to soak into the paper. And the gesso will give me a finer, finer detail later on. I'll be able to achieve finer detail with the acrylic paints because it'll be a smoother surface. Right now the uh, watercolor paper is just a little bit rough, so this will smooth it out a little bit. Okay, so now that I've got that, I can just brush this on. Nice even coats. As this dries, the paper will probably curl up a little bit. Okay, so now that I've got one coat of gesso on that paper, I'm gonna let that dry. While the gesso is drying on the watercolor paper, I've got a few other things that I can get done. Since I'm doing an airbrush painting, I'm gonna be cutting out some uh, stencils. I have uh, created shapes in Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, printed those shapes out onto uh, paper. It's like a little bit thicker paper. And then I'm gonna just taking my X-Acto knife and cutting out those shapes that I need. Okay, so here are some of the stencils that I've cut out. I've got these arrowhead shapes, various circles, the main shape of the mask, a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, the different shapes for the nose of the mask, dotted line as well that I created using a hole punch. Got this shape here that I can use for like sun rays. Also, I just want to note, I put gesso on the other side of the paper as well, because when you put gesso on one side of the paper, the whole thing kind of curls up like this. Now I've got my, t my stencils here, and this is the one that I'll start with. It's just the basic shape of the head.
How do you know how much paint to put in? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I just, uh, I guess. Sometimes I put in too much, sometimes I don't put in enough. And why would you want to thin it out? Straight out of those bottles is too thick. I don't set, I don't have my pressure on my air tank set very high. So uh, it's not going to spray out that thick paint, so I need to thin it out a little bit. Do you worry about it bleeding that way? Especially with what no, you do? No, no, if I, well if I go too thin, yes it will bleed. But, uh, but you're just a pro, you know what you're doing. <laughs> I've made enough mistakes <laughs> to know what I'm doing, I guess. I actually do this technique a lot with my digital art. Um, it's a very similar process when I do my digital work. Um, I use shapes in Photoshop and I use masks in Photoshop to kind of mask things off and then use the brush to, to spray. So it's, it's a very, very similar process. Of course, you have the benefit in Photoshop of you know, undo and uh, <laughs> cleaning up edges and uh, things like that. So you have to really, uh, I think you have to think a lot more with this about your process and about the, the layers, the order in which you're going to lay these stencils down and the order in which you're going to paint. Are you still using the same kind of paint that you used in the airbrush? Yeah, I'm still using uh, acrylic paint, but I'm not using the the airbrush paint. The airbrush paint is acrylic paint, but this is acrylic from the tube. So talk us through this, Jeff. What are you doing here? Make it up for my putting smudges on things. <laughs> uh, like you just did? Yeah. Way to go! <laughs> hey, this is messy. I'm surprised I haven't gotten anything on this thing already. See that overspray that I did before? Barely noticeable, but there it is. Yeah. I notice it. That's what's important. Oh, crap. See? I did. See that? Man. <laughs> now I gotta do something else over here. <laughs> now I gotta do something over here to make it look like that was the purpose. And I gotta put one over here too. So now I gotta get a smudge. Right, now I gotta have a smudge over here that looks just like that smudge. Yeah, it kind of hides it a little bit. That pisses me off. Well, are you going to try to smudge it off? Are you trying to like, lift it off? Yeah, just trying to see what I can... It's like a Pac-Man ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Work in some purples. That'll be pretty. I need my water. Oh, no. I'm going to hold this camera. That looks like a dolphin from my side. 
Goodness gracious, woman. Well, I gotta make up for that stupid mistake. So what we're doing here is polishing a turd. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty colorful turd. <laughs> Jeff Maricola, a professional turd polisher. All right, I'll keep building that up until, you know, until it looks like uh, there wasn't a mistake there. And then I'll do it on the other side. I'll make a mistake over there and then try to fix it. That's a great plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's cover up this purple ray of light here. Cover up this yellow. Cover up this yellow ray right here. You see that? Got that area just like that side. It's ready to be folded into uh, an envelope. Take my X-Acto blade and remove the blade. And I will use the other side of the X-Acto blade to score along my fold lines so that it's easier to fold this piece of paper. Ha 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 